work. Uh, what? What is this? Editing Bay Sean Ely. <laughs> My name is on a on a package. It sure is, buddy. Shipped straight to our studio today. You should maybe tell the folks what you're thankful for. Uh, okay. I'm thankful for how badass my work ethic is and in turn, everything I export. Really? Today? Today you're taking that approach? You asked, fuggo. It's fat and ugly together. Cool. <laughs> hey Sean, I saw this on the Amazon warehouse and thought of you. Thanks for the thousands of hours spent. Bring us awesome content. Asterisk, if it arrived broke, sorry it was only $2 LOL. David Demanchik. $2? Better not be broke. Thanks to you, this product has a second life. <laughs> David Demanchik fucking gets it, dude. <laughs> All right, you know what? I am thankful for D, for D squared, dude. David, thank you. Hey, notice how you don't have one that says best host quite literally ever, not even a little bit once? You know, I personally don't need a $2 mug to prove that what I do on this channel is valuable as the person that kind of runs the show. Daddy needs a sauce. <laughs> Little baby bottle. Oh, all right. Well, bye. I gotta learn how to edit. To everyone watching on your phones currently, so you don't have to hang out with your <laughs> damn families. Cheers. Happy Thanksgiving. Now watch this fat face eat some cheesy mustard bread or something. <laughs> Start the episode. You fellas been doing a bit of booze and have you? You guys, hello. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you're doing well, and welcome back to Sean's. First time eating. Today on the show, we gotta give it up for the man with the plan from the three point land. Terrible. Mr. Maddie McAlpine. <laughs> Cheesy mustard and onion bread sent you an email. Space exclamation point. That's right, we're killing trees, but we're, you know, satisfying palates here today on Thanksgiving 2022. Now, I've talked about this a lot on the internet, that my favorite thing about Thanksgiving is, are the sides and the things you eat kind of throughout the day while watching football leading up to the boring turkey. Look, if you love turkey and you love stuffing, I get it, man, American tradition, do what you love. But there's something about just kind of standing and eating with all your friends for Friendsgiving or your cousins, your family, people you haven't seen in a while. You get to stand and watch American American football and just kind of eat too many calories. And then when you sit down to eat dinner, you're already full, but you kind of power through. Today, I'm gonna do this one on Thanksgiving because I'm so excited about this recipe. So I printed off the recipe, wrinkled the photo. The photo, wow. Recipe, the printed recipe. Look at this photograph. Here's an old time family recipe of mine that my dad would make on one of those perfect November football Sunday kind of days. I think Thanksgiving is kind of the perfect kind of like this feel. Like, no, it's not a Sunday, but this Thursday is kind of the ultimate Sunday, wouldn't you think? Days of the week, man. Happy days. Cheesy mustard and onion bread. So what do we need? Hard crusted French bread, a sliced onion, extra sharp cheddar cheese, yellow mustard, garlic, and butter. Butter. So I'm gonna bang through this recipe. I'm very excited for this. Maddie sent, I like to call him Maddie. I don't know why. He sounds like he shoots three pointers and makes a lot of them. Maddie McAlpine from downtown. Simmer two sticks of butter, a tablespoon or so of garlic, and a little more than half a bottle of mustard in a saucepan until butter is melted. me after my third plate of Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> so screwed up. Okay, I'm gonna put a sweatshirt on because I'm afraid of that awesome state champs t-shirt that my friend Chelsea bought me after the concert. I'm afraid of that being ruined by mustard, so I'm gonna use a black sweatshirt. This is one of the weirder sauces I've ever made on the stove top, I'll tell you what. Butter, mustard, and garlic. The sea was angry that day, my friends. Like an old man trying to send back soup in a deli. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna preheat the oven. 375. All 
All right, now the fun part. Slice the French bread into one inch slices, not all the way through. Stuff the sliced onion and cheese in between the slices. Just jam it in there. <laughs> It doesn't say that, but that's kind of what I'm getting. Bake for 25 minutes, wrapped in tin foil, unwrap from foil, add more cheese on top, broil until top is bubbly and golden brown. All right, there we go, sliced and diced like Baraka, dude. Oh yeah, oh, it's like an accordion, a bread accordion. <laughs> Jam and cheese in this crevices, huh? All right, speed up this cheese jamming process with the onions. They're doing the mess around. Everybody doing the mess around. Okay, this thing has taken on so much more mass inside of it from jamming cheese. I went through it again. Time to jam some onions. I got a woman way over town. That's good to me. I'm calling this thing the cheesy onion caterpillar. Just look at the ingredients jammed into those layers. Right there, you can see it's so good. This thing is just taking on a life of its own. I feel like it's gonna just like kind of spring up and get me right in the neck. Now's the part where we pour the mustard sauce over the caterpillar. We wrap it and we bake it. Ooh. Look at the coverage. It is just looking like an entity, a monster of its own. To do a little bit more, I don't wanna overdo it, overdo it. But damn, okay, here we go. Let's take this beast, wrap it in foil. Snug as a bug in a rug. 25 minutes. Good luck. Be good in there. Would you mind getting inside the oven to clean it? I'm sorry? <laughs> I'm too big. If anybody's got a good recommendation for like an oven glove or like an oven mitt that's just like really heavy duty, let me know, because I've just been using pot holders because I just, I haven't gotten a good one. All right, it's sizzling and steaming. It, it smells so good in here. It smells like, oddly like a baseball stadium with all the mustard. Guess that's not odd. All right, let's, let's check our work. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, Mustard City. And I'm the mayor. I'm taking it a favorite town. Almost like when you drench your soft pretzels in mustard. That's like the smell and the look I'm kind of getting. Like when you get like the pretzel rods. Okay, so Matt said to put more cheese on it. gotta be one of the healthier things you can eat. <laughs> More cheese on top. I mean, just look at this thing. This is, there's no way it's gonna be bad. All right, this is gonna go into the oven. Uncovered. All right, set to broil. And what are we learning? How badly this Stove face needs to be cleaned, Jesus. Sorry about that. Okay, I just checked it and filmed it and it's looking just gooey and great on top. So this is the official takeout. Oh my God, it looks kind of like Matt's. I mean, I'm pretty proud of that. He wrote, let it sit for a few minutes so you don't burn your face off and enjoy. <laughs> I like that. Cheers, happy Thanksgiving. I know what you're thinking. How are we this far into this long video and you're just now cracking a beer? I know, man. What am I, sober? It looks wild. We here. I mean, what do you even do? Is it like tongs? <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh. So I'm building myself like a little eating area here. It's perfect amounts crispy. I mean, really soft and doughy on the inside. Matt McAlpine. Thank you for this recipe. I'm gonna do one of these like kind of center bites. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope this has cooled down enough. It looks fantastic. Oh my God. 
it's somehow not too much cheese and too much mustard. Wow. That cooking process crisped up the outside of it and then the middle is just so soft. Wow. So what would be great about laying this out, put napkins close by, but it's almost like pull apart rolls. Like you can just pull this off almost like monkey bread, which is so fun. You can just snag it, eat it with a fork if you want to. Oniony, garlicky, creamy, so tangy. I love this vlog. I would have never known about this recipe. This is so weird and different and so great. Mm, you gotta be careful of that. Also, so cheap to make. This French roll at my grocery store, a dollar. Bag cheese was two bucks. Mustard, cheap. Onions, cheap. Garlic, kinda cheap. <laughs> it's weird, it's almost like nostalgic though, having never had it. It's another one of those foods that just feels homey. Look at all that cheese and onion and just the globby bites has returned. <laughs> Can we do it? I love mustard. Shout out my boy Steve Hudson, my best friend Steve. Steve, you gotta make this on a cheat meal. I didn't even wanna know how much mustard he'd use. So good. <laughs> I really can't even stress to you. It looks crazy and weird. So satisfying. Matt, also nice job conveying cooking directions to me. So clear cut, easy to follow. When even an idiot like me can figure it out, anyone watching this can do it. Damn. Did you really think I wasn't gonna do it? This is a mustard hot sauce. And it has grilled shallots in it. Ellie you. I love my life. All right, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go down to the treadmill or something. Or just keep drinking. This is truly one of the cooler ones. Really worked with a irresponsible amount of mustard today. <laughs> Look, we Vanna Whited it though. All right, guys, well, happy holidays. Happy Thanksgiving first, and then happy holidays. You know how it is, man. Christmas stuff is already everywhere. It is upsetting. I'll see you very soon for a brand new video. More fun ones to come. This came out of the oven like 15, 20 minutes ago. It's still steaming. Stanley. Cheesy mustard onion bread up. Cheesy mustard onion bread down. Happy Turkey Day. Pfft, who needs it? Hmm.